Okay, so I thought I might as well do a video for my latest project board, since though a picture's worth a thousand words, and a video is worth ten times what the picture's worth. So, my last picture that I posted was of my simple switching device. Uh, the light's pretty bad in here, the Simple Switcher 5X. Basically, just uh, an on-off switch for five individual channels, each one controlled by a low-side MOSFET which is switching the ground side of each of the channels that you want to turn on and off. Uh, you can operate it from two or three POS switch on a transmitter, or if you don't have a spare channel, or you've only got one channel, you don't want to sacrifice it, then you can just use the button to turn things on and off. And what we have here, red plug here is your voltage input. Whatever you get on this input is what's going to be switched to the devices connected to all the other five outputs. At the moment, I've got, if I can get my multimeter around, bear with me. Okay, at the moment I've got going into the secondary supply voltage the equivalent of a fully charged free cell. Uh, I've actually had up to 14 volts going into that. Uh, the MOSFETs themselves are rated for 20 volts maximum on the input, but I think they'll be pushing it too far. As, uh, once you start jacking the voltage up, then you have to sort of start switching lower currents because you know current and voltage are proportionate to each other. But running it at uh, that voltage, I actually managed to pull, um, getting on for one and a half amps through all this here. This is just my test load for the moment. And what I have is 24 half watt 5 millimeter LEDs. Uh, I've got them wired in series in a group of four, so four in series equals uh, 12.6 volts. Uh, the actual LEDs themselves with those four in series can handle 14. And then I have six groups of the four series connections in parallel. Uh, they're rated for 100 milliamps each. Uh, they're not going to be drawing the full 100 each on there, but we still get as I said, between 1.3 and 1.5 amps especially when they start to warm up and also have an old 12 volt computer fan there because I need that to circulate air under the board and around the LEDs because they get so warm being half watt bus bars really can't handle one amp of current flowing through them and they get warm to the touch underneath and the LEDs across the top get warm as well uh, this I've got switched from channel 2 on the board and channel 4 is the bank of LEDs there and um, yeah, at the moment got a power supply there. It's uh, two amp max, 12 volts. And one tail on that is going out to my adjustable regulator. That is giving me six volts to the main feed line for the receiver. And the secondary line coming off of that, off of here, is giving me my 12.6 going to the secondary input on the switch there. So um, I think I've got it set up for free position at the moment and as usual for my testing I'm using this very high-tech piece of radio gear I'm sure you've all seen before. Uh, I have tested it working with the two pos switch and using the throttle or the steering as a free position momentary and the actual switching speed between the channels and switching on and off is pretty good. So we'll get that fired up and just show you that now that my surface mount LEDs came in as well, I was actually able to get the board finished from the pictures that I posted where it had none. So turn that on. And you see we have one LED. There's one for each of the channels. It's actually um, not as much glare as you can see there in the picture. And using this, so the beauty of the free position is you can cycle up and down through the channels. If you just go one way it will keep rolling over which is what you'll get in a two or three position or you can cycle backwards and forwards so channel one channel two a short pull and release in either direction switches the channel either up or down and if you want to turn the channel on and off you simply hold it one direction and it's the fan on in channel one yeah, let's just so that way, pulling holders on, if we push and let go, turn it off. And the LEDs, uh, I'll probably have to turn the kitchen light off for these, but they're on channel 4. So we'll just 
put the phone back on again, then we'll channel three, channel four. Oh, this is the bit that leaves spots in your eyes, but uh, here we go, and we'll turn channel four on. So it's, there's mm, probably eight to ten watts of light in there, and it's actually a lot brighter than it looks. It's left spots in my eyes for quite a while, but as I said, beauty of it is, turn them off, turn them on, and cycle through all the other channels. So you're getting some glare there. So there are five MOSFET channels there, and oh, I've got to turn those off. Three, four, there we go. And focus again. And fan off. And as I said, uh, works in the same principle on the two position. The only difference being with two position to go through the channels, it's just a quick on off, and it will cycle through. And that will go through. Obviously, I haven't got it set for a two position at the moment, but it works absolutely fine on that. The switching speed is just as quick as all the other channels. And that is channel five, channel four. And two position, so it's, yeah. And if you want to turn it on or off on a two position, it's just push and hold it high until whatever your switching comes on, then you can release it and cycle through in such a manner. Uh, alternatively, if you want to use a button, if you don't want to set this up for a two or three position switch, then just leave it as it is uh, default when it programs and it comes to the button. It's just the same principle, a quick and short push will cycle through the channels and push and hold longer will turn it on or off and it will just keep going from channel one to five then roll back over to one. But uh, let me just put the camera down, I'll turn the lights off and see if we can get a better view of these LEDs. Uh, camera probably still won't do it justice, but um, okay, let's, let's get our fan on first. And channel 3, channel 4, and let there be light. And it's just... It's unbelievable, you really can't understand how bright these are unless they're standing in front of you, dazzling the hell out of your eyes. But, yeah, it's my current finished project. Um, I've already revised the board design and just made a few small changes. But other than that, overall, I'm impressed with it. The fact that I can pull one and a half amps through that channel there with the LEDs on. Uh, the MOSFET was only getting a little bit warm. And considering that that was at free cell voltage, if you run lower voltage then you can pull more current through the FETs before they start to dissipate heat. Uh, I've already got a revised board design of this that I've done. It's um, basically the same five channel switch, plus I've got a couple of extra features added on, two additional outputs for uh, some other rather funky ideas. Board design is going to be a little bit bigger than this, using a bigger chip, more pin count. But the same functionality with a few added features, but I'm not going to go into those until next week when the boards turn up and I've got it assembled, programmed and tested. So that's it for now. Thanks.